Hey, Rob, um, when you see Dame put on, um, put everyone on his back like that, and then you all come up with a tough off loss like that, do you have any empathy for him? Like, what, what are your thoughts on that? Not just for him, but also just for the team. I mean, it's a loss. Like, he did everything that he could. You know, we, they made plays. Uh, you know, like I said, outstanding game. But like I said, we didn't make enough stops. You know, give, giving the team a, a 22 point lead, you know, it's frustrating. And, you know, that that's a, that's a big hole to dig out of. And, you know, he led us there. You know, so it, it it's it's a it's a very tough and frustrating game. It's a, one of them things where, like I said, we did some things, but you can't give a team a twenty two point hole. You can't give them a twenty two point advantage. That's where it started at. You know, third starting out thirteen zero. Uh, it, it was that's that's where the game was. You know, we fought we fought to get back, but like I said, we we kept we had we exerted so much. That and like I said, it got down to the wire. They made more plays than us. Aaron Fentress, story. Robert, while Dane was doing his best to carry the team, the rest of the team, I think, combined for one field goal in both overtimes combined. Uh, how disappointing is it that, that you guys couldn't give him a little bit more support and make a few more baskets for him and the team? I mean, we did what we can. You know, that we didn't see the ball go in. You know, when guy got it going like that, like you said, it's it's tough. You know, like I said, we didn't do enough as a unit. You know, it's hard. we shot the ball overall, you know, 45 But, you know, it's guys just, you know, stepped up, didn't make a lot of plays, did a lot of shots. You know, but like I said, we've been here before. So on to the next, game six. Thanks. Hey, Jim McCord. You mentioned that 22 point hole. What do you think was the biggest contributor to getting in that big of a hole so early? I mean, allowing them to get comfortable early on. You know, they seen a lot of guys make a lot of shots and, you know, their their tone and their pressure, you know, they set they set the tone initially with that. You know, we we had a lot of good looks, but like I said, we just didn't see none go in. So, you know, they started off that and then, you know, like I said, just, you know, throughout the first half kinda they got down, they got down, we got down 22, you know, we fought to come back, get the within three by the, you know, halftime. But like I said, it's, it's still the fact that we gave a 22 point advantage. Krista Saltas. Hey Rocco, after, tough, after that game with 58 uh, minute game, after that effort, how, how is your, how difficult is it to turn around that, uh, that, about game six and what you need to do about it. We'll watch film. We got twenty we got forty eight hours till we play again, game six. There's one behind us. Now we focus on game six. You know, we ain't we can't do nothing about this one. Now we gotta put our focus on game six. Tomorrow we're gonna go in and see what we did wrong and you know, where we mistakes and you know, we're gonna correct them. Ain't nothing to focus on right now. Just gotta keep moving forward. Last question is coming from Orlando Sanchez with KG. Robert, how much does it help uh, knowing that you guys have been through a lot of adversity? You guys have had your, your backs against the wall. You guys have played some of your best when you guys are up against it. Um, how much does that help channeling that experience that you guys have been through some tough times? Man, like you said, we built for it. And we got guys that can, can lead us. And like you said, we just need – we ain't, we ain't gonna have a game where Norm shooting five for 14, Nurk shooting five for 12, CJ seven for 22, Melo shooting three for 11. We're not gonna have that again. You know, we're gonna go back and, you know, we're gonna see how how we can get, you know, better looks. And then we're gonna sit up and adjust on defense, set the tone from the beginning.